the Lord's Prayer is misunderstood, it's mystical, but it's also foundational and formative. Um, but ultimately, it's our feedback to God. The third line of uh, the, the second section of the Lord's Prayer, the petitions section, first posturing ourselves correctly, and then the second section, asking God for things. After we first ask for our daily bread, our physical sustenance, second ask that we would be forgiven as we forgive, uh, our spiritual condition, we ask that the Lord will keep us from things that are harmful for us to not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Um, this is a hard line because um, so often the things we're asking the Lord to protect us from are the things that we have set up around ourselves because of the way that we love and are comforted by um, our sin. I mean, this sin is the way that we try to control the world around us. And especially for we in the West at this point in history, this is a huge issue because so much of our lives are trying to set up security around ourselves, comfort, protection, safety. This is basically asking the Lord to disrupt all that, to keep us from the things that would cause us less dependence upon Him. Um, and so the fence around my house might be a false sense of security. My savings account might be a false sense of security. My great reputation for being a, a great spiritual man, having all my spiritual ducks in a row might be my false sense of security. That might be the evil thing that's right around me that I need the Lord to come in and disrupt in order to keep me from real evil. Evil might not be alcohol and cigarettes. Um, it might not be the devil on my shoulder so much as my own uh, structure of spirituality I put around myself to justify myself. And so it might be the good things that we're asking Jesus to come and disrupt in our lives in order to make us dependent upon him um, and interesting that this would be the crescendo of the petition of the middle of the Lord's Prayer. Mm -hmm.